Hi, Pate and Panthers. Welcome back to story time in the library. And we are going to read a book today called When Winter Comes. There's lots of things to like about the winter. Sometimes we don't like it when it's cold and windy, but it gives us a chance to snuggle up in warm things, warm clothes and blankets, and enjoy rain, sometimes snow. Sometimes we can go to the snow. When Winter Comes by Nancy Van Lon, illustrated by Susan Gaber. Where, oh, where do all the leaves go when winter comes and the cold wind blows? The leaves go tumble, tumbling down. Snow is their blanket. Their bed is the ground. Where, oh, where do the flowers go when winter comes and the cold winds blow? Their petals wilt, but their seeds burrow down to rest underneath the leaves golden crown. Where oh where do caterpillars go when winter comes and the cold winds blow? Inside their cocoons so tightly wound waiting for spring to bring green to the ground. Where, oh where, do the songbirds go when winter comes and the cold winds blow? South they fly, warm weather bound, to bask in the sun on the soft mossy ground. Where, oh where, do the field mice go when winter comes and the cold winds blow? Field mice tunnel under the ground and rest in a nest thick with thistle down. There they are. Where, oh, where do the dappled deer go when winter comes and the cold winds blow? Dappled deer wander, making no sound. They rest, closely knit, under trees in a mound. Where, oh where, do the fish all go when winter comes and the cold winds blow? Deep under they swim when the ponds ice bound. In the dark, they quietly circle around. See, they're looking through the ice above the water. Where, oh where, does our little one go when winter comes and the cold winds blow? In a warm, warm bed, when winter comes round, listening to the wind with its gusting sound, watching the snow as it falls to the ground. Snuggling deep, fast asleep. The end, we'll see you next time.